Thousands of hackers competed in Colorado at this year's ETH Denver, where teams had 36 hours to use blockchain in the Ethereum ecosystem to build applications that might change the world. Five teams were crowned as impact winners, a new category at this year's ETH Denver. Participants on the impact track submitted projects under the United Nations Sustainability Guidelines. Judging was based on usefulness, design, technical sophistication, creativity, diversity awareness, and their ability to make the world a better place. Among the creators were Nathan and Alec Touchton, two brothers from Colorado who had their sights set on the environment. The Touchtons and their team Carbos want to use blockchain to revamp the carbon marketplace. Our mission has been to remove the barrier to entry into the carbon marketplace. And we've been calling what we're building at Carbos a carbon community rather than a carbon market. And that's because we're using communities to drive reinvestment rather than looking to buy these generalized global carbon credits. We want to make sure that the carbon that people are investing in, the climate action that people are investing in, is local and maintains that frame of reference throughout its life. It's not traded as a general commodity, not just carbon in an ethereal way, it's concrete things that are happening in a community. And that's where blockchain comes in to prove that that's going on. Carbos intends to bring carbon offsets to the local community. So if you are a business in Denver that's polluting and you're buying a carbon offset that's protecting a forest in Cambodia or the other side of the world, you haven't made Denver a better place. And so you have people who want to invest in carbon offsets in the state of Colorado that are buying these general carbon credits uh, around the world. And what we're trying to do is make it so that they can source carbon sinks in their own community and invest in citizens who are taking climate negative actions in their communities. By using blockchain, Carbos hopes to make an impact on an individual level, putting environmental change in the hands of the people on the ground. The carbon marketplace has a problem with verifying small offsets, and so that's where that barrier to entry comes in. You can't quantify these things in any sort of financially reasonable way. So as long as we can give people a way to quantify their actions on their own, Blockchain is a payment system through which we can incentivize those little tiny actions that add up. And we think that's super important when it comes to fighting climate change because there's a sense of hopelessness and apathy. There are government programs, businesses that are funneling hundreds of millions of dollars into climate negative action. And yet when you're an individual person who's taking those actions, you're detached from that system. And because of the way blockchain can transfer value, we can actually relay that value to small individual actions. Growing up environmentally conscious, the Touchstones often felt like despite the fact that they were taking climate negative actions, they felt powerless and were never seeing the benefits of their actions. Looking for ways to participate in the carbon marketplace, the brothers were struck when talking to locals who were committing to the Paris Agreement on their own after the United States decided to pull out of the environmental pact. We found out about how the Boulder County Fair was attempting to buy locally sourced carbon and couldn't because all of those carbon offsets were being sold abroad, out of state. So then we kind of came up with the idea that we could kind of provide that incentive for people. The Touchstones began by looking at carbon storage because it was the easiest thing to quantify. That would be something like just land ownership, right? And that's a carbon stink, that's carbon storage. And so when the city of Boulder is looking at its footprint, it should also be considering the citizens in Boulder who are pledging to not disturb that storage, to not release carbon, right? So it'd be something like a pledge or conservation easement that you would go through our application, quantify and take, and then next time your community or businesses within your community are looking to offset, they would be funding your actions rather than the actions taken on a massive scale globally somewhere else. The brothers' idea, which came to fruition as Carbos at ETH Denver, was crowned one of the 2019 Impact Track Award winners. We're very passionate about this kind of stuff, so being able to marry tech and natural ecology sort of field is, is, is really great.